Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to set up reference images in ZBrush. So here I have just a regular sphere and I have all three floors on X, Y, and Z. This is where our reference images are going to show up. If you want to model a character, reference images are very helpful to have. I uh, want to gonna go up to here draw, scroll down to these three options, front, back, up, down, and left, right. Front, back will obviously be your front and back images for your reference. Up, down will be your top and bottom view for your reference, and left, right will be your left and right view for your reference. You're going to want to go here, map one, click on that, and import. So wherever you have your reference images saved, I have them in this folder. So I'm going to go to this reference, which is the front of my character. And you can see that back here it has now shown up. You're going to want to adjust that to fit in the correct scale that you want, whatever that may be. So you can go down here, scale. Uh, you can center it properly if it's not centered. Uh, horizontal and vertical offset. And you can even change the angle of it if you really want to. Uh, I'm going to leave it at scale 1 right now. So that'll be whatever you want the front of your character to be, but you'll also want a reference for the back of your character if you have it. So you're going to want to go to the same place, but instead of map 1, you're going to want to click on map 2. Same thing, go to import, and if you have a back reference, click on that. And now, if you scroll... The other way, boom, there you go. You can see the reverse of your character. And if you just want to flip that around, you can go here and click switch. And that'll switch the two maps you have. And it's the same deal for the other views. Uh, left, right. Same thing, I'm going to click on the side view of my character, and now that shows up. And for this character, I don't have a top-down view, but I do have a reference for the arm that I can use for the bottom layer. So now what you want to do is just make sure everything is at the correct scale and correctly lined up with where you want your character to be. Let's see. And once you have everything to how you like it, that's when you can just get to sculpting. And there you have it. That is how you set up reference images.